When most of our staff and members go on a trip to the outdoors, they plan ahead of time and they try to figure out where they're heading and what direction they should go in and what the landscape looks like. And the Futures Project was really a little bit like that. The future really is uh, the land ahead. What we wanted to do when we started this project was sort of look out beyond what we could see in terms of business imperative, where we put a store, the type of product we look at, and begin to look at, well, what is the difference that we want to make? The Futures Project was a way of eliciting a response from the members and staff as to what direction the co-op should take to meet the needs of the future. There were a number of sessions that brought the staff together with the members and they just had a chance to brainstorm the future of MEC, the future world around us, and what might happen in that future. The current trends tell us that fewer and fewer people are involved in self-propelled wilderness activity. We're facing some real problems right now with respect to uh, how kids are active in, the, in how they play, how sedentary they are. We've seen that people are becoming more urbanized, that they're spending more time uh, in front of computers, whether it's to work or play, play games or uh, interact with each other. And uh, as a result, people are getting into the outdoors less, they have less of a connection with the outdoors, and we see that as a, as a concern. The second goal is around uh, preserving and conserving wild spaces in this country. Not just through parks, which is, a, which is a good way to do it, but through any forms of legislation that we can see, even private ownership, that allows wild areas to not be subjected to, to development. We're actually going to start, for example, to talk around preserving 50%. Half of the remaining wild space in this country, we'd like to say it must stay that way. We really want MEC to foster change in environmental, social and economic sustainability in the marketplace. The, the supply side, the demand side. Because we have direct contact on, on both of those sides, the folks that we purchase our materials from and the folks that purchase from us, we're in a position where we can build an awareness with all of those people and we can collaborate with them as well. We want to lead by example, but we want to put our knowledge and what we've learned out there so that others can use it, and we're learning from other folks. The feeling that I got from the future sessions was so inspired to be working as part of a, an organization that was looking that far into the future. And I do believe that some of the stuff that we're going to do is going to be able to show other businesses and uh, even governments and, and, uh, and individuals that, uh, that it's, this is serious stuff and we need to get at issues of, of, of the environment and wild spaces and healthy lifestyles. We can see all the warning signs. We all know that we're, we're participants in, in these changes in some way. So it's really incumbent upon us to make changes ourselves and to make changes as a collective. I strongly believe one of the most important aspects is that we continue to have a high quality staff. And I believe we attract that staff by setting ambitious goals that will leave the planet better and will contribute to the development of people. As a result of that, we will end up having an even greater commitment from staff who share those goals.